the infamous Baphomet. Oh, ooh, spooky stuff. Well, this is the Satan, everybody. Ah. But the problem with it is it isn't. And it's been misrepresented now for a little over a hundred, hundred or so years. Because this drawing wasn't even a thing until the 1800s, okay? So this was actually drawn and invented by a, a guy named Eliphas Levi, all right, in, in again, in the 19th century. So this isn't an old, old thing. It's, it's fairly new. Now, this picture of the Baphomet has absolutely nothing to do with some demon guy named Satan not even close however it's been again misrepresented by the media by religions by everything to keep you in a state of fear and in a state of delusion because it's just not real it's not what it is at all so i went in i, I asked the newest version of chat gbt to please explain it and this is what they tell you so if you want to fact check me on this one, you're going to have to take it up with ChatGBT, not me. So here you go. This is actually what the Baphomet is all about. The image of Baphomet, especially as it is commonly depicted today, has a complex history and is often misunderstood. It is important to approach this topic with an understanding of its origins and symbolic meanings which can be seen as a synthesis of various religious and philosophical ideas rather than a direct representation of Satan. Here's a neutral exploration of its background. 1. Origins and Design The modern depiction of Baphomet most notably comes from the 19th century French occultist Eliphas Levy. In his book Dogmet Ritual de la Haute Magie, Dogmas and Rituals of High Magic, Levy illustrated Baphomet as a winged, goat-headed figure with both male and female characteristics. This image was intended to symbolize the reconciliation of opposites and the embodiment of various dualities. 2. Symbolism. Levy's Baphomet combines elements from different traditions. Alchemy. The figure represents the alchemical principle of solving and coagulating, combining opposites to create harmony and enlightenment. Hermeticism. The phrase solve et coagula, dissolve and coagulate. Written on Baphomet's arms reflects a hermetic principle of breaking down and reforming to achieve spiritual transformation. Duality. Baphomet incorporates male and female elements, light and dark, human and animal, symbolizing balance and the integration of all aspects of existence. 3. Misinterpretations and associations with Satan. Over time, Baphomet has been mistakenly associated with Satan, particularly due to its adoption by various occult groups and its use in popular culture. However, Levy's original conception was not intended to represent evil but rather a complex symbol of unity and equilibrium. 4. Cultural Appropriation and Misunderstanding The incorporation of symbols from various religious and philosophical systems into the image of Baphomet can be seen as a reflection of the human quest to understand and integrate diverse aspects of the spiritual and material worlds. It does not represent a literal combination of all religions but rather an esoteric synthesis aimed at illustrating broader metaphysical concepts. 5. Modern Interpretations In contemporary times, some groups, such as the Satanic Temple, use the image of Baphomet to promote values like secularism and individual freedom, often as a form of social and political commentary rather than religious worship. In summary, Baphomet as depicted by Levy is not a representation of Satan but a symbolic construct that incorporates elements from various traditions to convey ideas of balance, unity, and the reconciliation of opposites. Its association with Satanism is largely a product of cultural misunderstanding and reinterpretation over time. Now remember, if you want to learn things like this, because I study symbolism, I study ancient times i study all the ancient times i love sumeria i love egypt because all of our creation stories all of our biblical stories all of christianity all of their stories the old and new testament it's all a retold story okay now i could talk about this forever because when you go back the wedding feast of cana okay the wedding feast of cana was not about a man named jesus turning fish two fish into many fish and bread into wine and water into wine and blah blah nothing to do with that it, it's an ancient story and it's about the the son 
drawing water so that the rains would come down and you could then turn water into wine because it would make the grapes grow and then you could turn the grapes into wine. It's an old story and it's not a Christian story. It's very old. All the Moses stories you're talking, the Ten Commandments, all this stuff goes back further and further and further and it keeps going back when you start to dig into it. So if you want to learn stuff like this, you can check me out on my website. I'm highly censored. I get kicked off of TikTok every single week with a new, I got to do a new profile, the whole thing. I have like a hundred Gmail accounts now because of this. It's insane. So we live in a world where you're not allowed to speak unless they want you to be saying what you're saying. That's really all there is to it. So I love you all and check out my website. This is my opinion and apparently ChatGBT's opinion. So take it up with him or her, whatever she is, whatever it is. I love you all.